Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five things that Dexters just do better. Uh, obviously, we're in the house here. If you're ever gonna start a YouTube channel, wait till the spring to do it. That's my advice. So this is what we're doing. So the five things that Dexters just do better. And stay to the end, guys, because I saved the best for the last, okay? Number one, they make babies better. They just do, they make babies better. And when I say make babies better, I mean they do it on their own. A very high majority of Dexter cows deliver their calves unassisted. In my experience, that's 100% of the time. I had one person tell me that they thought they were gonna have to uh, assist and they actually loaded her up in the trailer and took her to the vet and when they got to the vet and opened the trailer she delivered the calf in the trailer so, and that may be due to their smaller size it's just a fact that they deliver their calves on their own i'm going to talk about how this pertains to a small farm on all five of these so it's important to point out these five things and how they benefit a small farm with a small farm, typically we are working uh, at a job that's not at the farm, right? Because our farm doesn't make uh, our, our income that we live off of. So we're getting up and we're going to work in the morning and being outside at 2 a.m. Or, or whenever that time comes around to help that cow deliver the calf is, that's not a good situation for somebody that's got to get up at five or six or seven o'clock in the morning. That's a big positive for small farms is uh, that cow being able to do the deed on its own. So that's number one, guys. They make babies better. They just make babies better. That's all there is to it. Number two, they are foragers. They forage better than other breeds do. Dexters are a heritage breed. They're optimized to do this. They're browsers by nature. They're gonna find something to eat even when the forage is, is a, of a, a lower quality. How does this help a small farm? Most of us, when we're moving out of the city and buying a property out in the country, we're getting a property that may not have perfect pastures. I think that we should always be working to improve our pasture. And it just takes some years to get things evened out to where you got good grass growth and you get rid of the trees and and things like that. So a Dexter cow is going to make it through that time. So number two, they're better foragers. They just are. Once again, just a fact. Number three, they're the smallest natural breed in the world. And people are going to say, well, no, there's smaller breeds than, Dexter, than Dexters. And that's true. There's smaller breeds than Dexters. I said they're the smallest natural breed in the world. That means this is the way that God made them. They're not a miniature. They weren't bred down to be this small. But what's the positive? The positive is that they're easier on your fences. They're easier on your infrastructure. You don't have to buy really expensive, heavy-duty equipment to deal with these cows like you would a full-size cow. It also makes them more approachable. I have small children, most people do. By the way, I have a video about are Dexter cows nice? I'll link it below. Because of their size, they're just more approachable and it makes it a less stressful situation. Like I said, they're easier on your fences and it it's just works out better all the way around. When it comes time to butcher the animal, uh, it's the perfect amount of beef. That's number three is they're the smallest natural breed in the world. Number four, guys, is community. Back in the 1970s, uh, they were put on the endangered breed list. Today in 2021, there is a very large community of people that own these cows. You can go just about anywhere from online forums to uh, Facebook groups which I found a really good one. It's called Dexter Cattle USA. 
check that out on Facebook. The ADCA, there's a, a plethora of people out there that are willing and ready to answer your questions no matter what they may be. And it's not, um, you know, these are people that are spending time with their cows hands-on every day. They've seen the problems, they've seen uh, different illnesses, they've seen different situations, uh, and they just, they have a ton of advice and they're willing to give it. They're not looking at it as a competition or anything like that. So the fact that this large community is available for this breed, uh, I believe that that community does it better than other breeds. And how this is going to relate back to a small farm is, once again, a lot of people that are moving out of the city and buying properties and, and um, going in and trying to get cattle, it's their first time. And they may be scared or nervous about whether or not they know how to care for this animal. And with that large community of people ready to help you out, um, it's literally just a, a click away and you're going to have just tons and tons of answers rolling in to get you off and started with your, with your cow. So that's how it, this is going to, this number four, the community is going to be a positive and I believe Dexter cows do community better than other breeds. Number five, guys, I said I saved the best for last, and number five is that this is a dual-purpose animal. Uh, actually, they're one of, if not the last widely available dual-purpose cow in the world. So obviously, if they're the last, then they do it better than other breeds. When I think of a small farm picking a different breed, like I said, all the people around me raise Angus beef. Right? I could have seen a situation to where I would have went and bought Angus just because that's all that people had around here. But if you do the research or if you hear a video like this, I really don't understand how a small farm could go a different direction. These animals provide high quality beef and milk. Now this is beef that is at a quality so high that top chefs like Gordon Ramsay say it's the best beef in the world. This is the real deal beef, right? And the milk uh, on an average has four to six percent butter fat, which is really good. These cows can produce between one and a half to four gallons of milk per day. It can actually be uh, trained to be oxen as well. A lot of people say that they're, they're tri-purpose. It's also been argued that they can do all of that for your farm at a lower cost from birth to slaughter than other breeds can. Just the fact that they can give you both of these things and it's even a possibility that they're doing it at a lower cost from birth to slaughter than other breeds are, uh, in my mind, makes them doing it better than other breeds. So there you have it guys, the five things that Dexter cows do better. Um, if you have a different opinion or love, hate, or despise any of the things I said, leave them in the comments below. I'm really trying to get a conversation started here. That's kind of what this is all about for me is to learn and teach and uh, spread the word about Dexter cows and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you like the video, then hit the like button. It really helps me out. And obviously, if you haven't yet, subscribe to Dexter Ranch. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.